Hello everybody, it's Claire here from Sewing by Claire and welcome to a shiny new year. Now, just to whet your appetite and in order to get me back into the swing of things filming, I thought that together we might like to open up and have a look at the Clementine the Cat remake kit that I ordered from Cool Crafting. Um, it arrived when I went over to visit my mum in December in the UK as I have all my things sent there. It's just much easier than getting them sent over to Spain. And so I've picked it up. So I thought you might like to have a little look at it with me and we'll have a look at what's included and we'll just talk through the main character. And then in future videos, I shall do a sew along to make Clementine the Cat as well. Before I go any further, what I do need to tell you is that this kit has been very kindly purchased um, through sponsorship, through the coffee account that I've got. And so I must say a really big thank you to Caroline Berman, to Jackie Powell, to Jan Franklin, looking down at my list, so I get it right, to Julie O'Dare, and to Jeanette Flynn, and to Margaret Trowell, who all together have contributed in order to purchase this kit that we're going to be looking at today. And then also be, when I do the tutorial, then they'll be noted as sponsors on there as well. So thank you ladies very, very much from, on behalf of me and all the other people who will watch this video and also the tutorial for how to make Clementine for your generosity in making the, this um, video and this tutorial, not this tutorial, the tutorial that'll come, but this opening video possibly. Possible. So Clementine can be found in book two and here she is in the marmalade colourway. Um, very cute and lovely whiskers and her eyes and her lovely pointy ears there. And she has a couple of things different in her construction to the way that Luna is made out of the felt in that Luna out of the felt is top stitched over the top and I believe that Clementine is actually so machine sewn for parts of it anyway, in terms of her construction. So that's going to be different for, for some of you. Now, those that have followed me before know that I machine sew all of my characters so far. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how that works. The other thing that's different for me as well is that so far I've made all of my um, characters of Luna and Wilhelmina out of fabrics other than felt. And of course the kit, the remake kit, the kit that you may order from Cool Crafting has got the felt inside it. So that'll be interesting for me to see how I feel that stands up um, in terms of robustness and what it's like to sew with and obviously I can pass that on to you at the end. So this is Clementine in the um, marmalade colourway and I ordered Clementine in the smoke colourway because that was the way that I preferred it and obviously this is the price as at um, December 2022 when I ordered the kit. So let me just angle the camera down and we'll have a look and see what's included. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how the kit looks when it first arrives. It's all really neatly packaged up with everything into the separate components. We've got the Liberty fabric, we've got the white felt, we've got the dark grey felt, a reel of thread and some of the bits and bobs in here. So we're going to get open this out. But I just wanted to have a quick show you how lovely and neat this all looks when it arrives for you all nicely packaged like this um, and ready for you to use. So I'll just go off and open this off camera so you're not having too much crinkling and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we have got, we've got a separate little bag of all our bits and bobs, our haberdashery, so we'll keep that to one side. We've got a nice big piece here of um, our Liberty Tarna Lawn. It's quite thin, I think I might interface mine on that. I think I've seen other people have said that they've interfaced that, just to give us a little bit of stability. And uh, we can see from the picture from Clementine just here that we need that for the bottom of her feet pads and also for the inside of her ears. That's the only places we need that. So that's a nice um, size piece of Liberty there that we'll be able to use. We've got a nice piece of white felt, which is for her tummy and her nose and um, her eyes and also the end of her tail. So that should be more than enough for doing that. And then we've got a nice piece here of the grey felt. So actually quite a long piece. If I just do a little bit of a scoot along like that you'll see how long that is um, and that's for doing her main body her arms her head and her tail and her legs okay so that's the main construction bits the, the felt feels fairly stiff it feels it feels dense there's no giving it at all so I can see that that's not stretching sometimes on acrylic felts or other um 
felts that are a bit more um, perhaps cheaper, might we say, or just um, polyester sometimes do have a bit more give. So I'm quite happy with how robust that's feeling. So it does feel a little bit more robust than I thought it might have done. And I know that people often swear by the 100% um, wool felt from Cool Crafting that it's a really good quality. So onto this little packet here. So I probably I'll just do a little bit of a pinnacle once we open this bit up. I lay everything down. So this was the this was the thing that nearly got me into trouble on the flight. <laughs> but I'll we'll talk to you about that in a second. I just empty everything out nice and carefully. So I'll pack it to one side. Okay. So we have a scrap of black um, felt for her nose and probably for the inside of her eyes possibly. Although that might be using buttons, but that's more than enough for using for her nose. We'll go on to that later. We've got a, co a coordinating reel of thread there that we can use for that. And that's a really good match. That's going to look, make those everything look nearly invisible. We've then also got black thread for sewing on her nose and white thread for sewing on her eyes and her um, the, the larger nose. Is it a muzzle? Do you call it a muzzle? Which is this bit here? So sewing on this bit here, that muzzle bit there. There's that white bit there, so there's some thread for that. We'll put the deck down again, it's in the way. We've also got this long twine here. I'm not quite sure what this is for, so how much is this? There's this waxed cord for the whiskers. That feels like a lot for that. I'll have to have a look and see what that's, that's for, but that feels like there's quite a lot of that, more than enough that you need for the whiskers. Maybe it's for tying on the arms and legs, maybe, and for the whiskers, we'll have to see. We've then got some elastic cord as well, which is here. I haven't made clementine yet, so this is all new to me as well. It might be new to you too. But that's a clear elastic cord, which has got some stretch to it. Feels quite nice and strong though. Let's put those two out of the way. We've then got two safety pins. I think that's for holding the joints on. So we've got these couple of buttons here as well, haven't we? Which I believe that we'll end up pressing together. I like covered buttons, they work really well for general dress making as well. Um, but for here, they are to, um, a, it's a different way of attaching the legs. Because if you remember for Luna's legs, they're attached into the body. So you have your body cone, if you like, and the legs are sewn in there. Um, this way, they're slightly different on the, on the side of um, the legs. So we'll see how they go. But there's two of those for the two legs their corresponding parts and then we've got one two three buttons so two for the arms i think and one for the tail they're just a nice light gray the co coordinating color and then we've got two uh, buttons here which are the smaller ones which will be the little black buttons for the eyes i believe oops right there that's it And then on this little scrap of felt, which is a slightly different colour to the kit, but um, is fine. We've got some pins, and I know there's been some debate on the site, on the Cool Crafting site, as to whether people still want the pins or not. Um, but we have got the pins there to use for for um, attaching the pattern to the fabric or for pinning things together. We've got a small needle there for the finer stitching, a medium needle, and then this big needle here, which is the um, the more of the doll needle for attaching through the body. Um, I, do, I must admit that when I've been sewing mine on previously, I do use a much longer doll needle than that. But when the kit arrived, because it was this way round, I didn't actually see that great big needle. So I managed to get it through security on the flight. I'm not quite sure how I managed it, how they didn't pick it up. Because um, I would have thought for certain, I certainly wouldn't have tried to have got it through. But that's um, that's your kit. So as you can tell, I know others have said on the Cool Crafting Facebook group. And if you're not a member of that, you might want to have a look because there's lots of inspiration and lunar related madness and, and friendship over there. Um, then the... The kits contain everything that you need if you just wanted to pick it up and just take it away. Obviously, you'll need your scissors and your filling, your stuffing. But otherwise, it contains everything that you need in order to make your character, which is often quite nice to know um, and that it's available to you. So let's just um, so then, as I say, we've got all of our fabrics, we've got our threads. 
We've got our different materials that we need. Everything is there for you for making Luna in the lovely um, wool felt. So I hope you've enjoyed joining me today for this just this quick short video just to get me back into the swing of recording things. I want to wish everybody a happy um, new year as well, full of hope, full of um, inspiration for the new year 2023. Who knows where our sewing journey is going to take us and what we're going to enjoy along the way. I'm just so pleased that you're all here to join to um, enjoy it with me and um, as you know I love, love to share sewing and any tips or tricks that I find any challenges I find along the way to let you know it's not just you that also has those challenges so together we can create some wonderful um, lunar lapping friends um, in this case as I say we've been talking about Clementine um, credit as always goes to Sarah Peel and the team at Cool Crafting that's www.coolcrafting.co.uk for the design of um, lunar lapping and her friends and also for the clothes but also Cool Crafting is a great source of um, resources for Luna including the remake kits so if you've already got the book and you've got the pattern inside the book um, then you just need a remake kit if you've not got book two and you want the full pattern as well as the thing then you need to order a make a make me kit so that sometimes can just get lost a little bit in translation and the two colours are the marmalade colour for Clementine and then the smoke that you've just seen me open. Um, so as I say, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I'll stop waffling, enjoy your day and the video for Clementine will be coming soon. I do want to do the wool coat first, so I'll do that one first, then we'll pop over and we'll have a go at doing Clementine after that. So thank you to the sponsors for the video and full credit will be given to them on the tutorial video. Have a great day everybody, happy stitching, bye.